At least being 500, then losing, um, you know, and, you know, although we fell short of the goal, like we talked about, um, I guess, what is a 19 game improvement? Something like that. And that's, that's obviously a big step for our guys. But, um, you know, what I told them was let's strive for more, um, use it as fuel, motivation, experience to get it done next year. But, um, yeah, you know I mean, something we can be proud of, proud about, and build on. But uh, gotta take that next step now. My bad, coach. Yeah. Uh, coach, what did you say to um, to those players who have been here the last two years who haven't been this close to being 500 at all? Is there anything special that you said to them? Yeah, I mean, basically, what I, I reiterated, reiterated what I just told you guys that you know that that huge improvement is due to their growth. Um, obviously, we brought in some new guys, but um, you know they had to go through the hard times and you know use this as motivation. And so. Uh, um, you know, we've been saying that for the last month or so that meaningful basketball, is, it feels different. It's something you have to experience and go through. And so really stressing it to those guys that haven't done it. And it was good for them to get that a feel of that. Trying to compare your first day in the job, um, knowing you know, the work that was at hand to now having gone a season under your belt. What do you think is the biggest reason for this almost 20 game improvement? Because, you know, on the surface, that looks pretty much impossible to do. Uh, competitiveness and you know that that mindset shift I, I'd say you know from guys that have been uh, been here getting tired of it and then the guys that we brought in obviously having done it before so we had to shift the mindset of like I said the narrative of our team and, and be a competitive group and like, I've never questioned that from day one um, you know from any time we're in the gym, uh, guys are competitive, getting after it, and you saw that translate immediately at the start of the season. So, next step is consistency, and you know, and um, you know, not having the ups and downs that we had to start the season with three games, losing, win six, lose three, win eleven, lose five, and whatever the case may be. So that kind of typified our season, you know, ups and downs as far as that. And so we want to get better as far as that. But I would say our competitiveness uh, mindset. And, you know, guys being coachable and receptive to uh, new teaching by some veterans and myself. Coach, for first career triple-double for Amin Thompson, what did you think of his performance today? Yeah, it was great. He's continues to take steps to every game in some sort of way, whether it's, you know, defending, scoring, you know, stat sheet stuffing, he does that. And so, um, you know, not surprised. I'm, you know, it's first of many, and I'm sure he's been very close before. But, um, yeah, more of the same and happy with his growth and growth progress. And, uh, you know, finish the season off with a win and him getting a triple-double uh, shows that he has no quit. He continued to play and um, didn't just pack it in. Hi. Right. When, a, when a season ends, what's the feeling? Are you bummed? Are you excited? What do you feel? Bummed. When it ends like this, um, you know, I, I played on a few young teams that didn't make the playoffs. And although this was different, like we were still competing late, um, to be done in April is not a good feeling. Um, so for some guys that don't know anything other than that, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit of the norm, except for the fact that we were more competitive this year. But the guys who have uh, been there, won championships or played deep into the playoffs every year, uh, it's not a good feeling to be done in April. And so um, for me, yeah, you know, I've been spoiled. Obviously, my first two years played in two championships and then have pretty much only lost in the first round, I think, once once or twice, maybe. And so. Um, you know, you're, at this point in the season, you want to be preparing for something. And, you know, although we got close, um, couldn't quite get over the hump. And I think shot ourselves in the foot early in the season more so than the late games. And uh, something to grow and experience and learn on. Thanks. Great. Thank you.